Hi metal lovers and creators of strong images. So in this video I will show you a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful technique in Photoshop how to get some 3D volume in mid contrast to low contrast images. So right after the intro. <music> The technique I'm going to show you is a combination of applying a channel mixer adjustment layer plus some blend modes and apply image etc. So it's very important that the image you are working on is retouched already finally so it's basically one of the last steps you will apply this. So let's look and dive right into it. Okay, so this is the image we are going to use for this demonstration of the effect. So it's not of very high contrast as you can see. It has got a very, very nice uh, gradient and roll off from highlights to, to shadows. And even the shadows are not completely black. They are very light shadows and it's completely retouched. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to apply a channel mixer layer, set the blend mode to soft light and set the mode of the channel mixer to monochrome. And now uh, we are going to use the red and the green sliders to give the image some contrast. It will look a little bit creepy at the beginning, but trust me, it's, it's really a great effect. So we, I will increase the red slider. I'm just watching the highlights at the moment. Okay, so I stick with around 63. And now let's check what the green slider is doing. Okay, I stick with, uh, I'm, I'm applying a slightly uh, stronger contrast than I would because I'm always not sure how uh, YouTube, the YouTube compression will bring us across. So these are the configurations in the layer mixer and there's just one step left to apply the effect I want to show you. So go to image, apply image, and then the channel is usually set to RGB, set it to blue. You can play around with the, the different channels because they will give you a slightly different effect. So red has got some, some uh, higher contrast, but uh, I'm choosing the blue because um, the blue values are in the highlights because uh, the flesh, etc. it's very cold light. There's where the highlights are coming from. And keep the blending mode to multiply and then click OK. And now the effect is applied. So this is before after, before, after. So now how, look how beautiful this face is now being carved out. So for example, check this chin. So this is after, before, after, before, after. So when I switch it off, it looks pretty flat. It's, it's already a well lit image, and it, but it looks pretty flat. If I apply it, it is really a very beautiful roll off and highlights roll off you're getting out of this. And also check the background so it's, it looks pretty milky and you're getting a slight contrast in the background. And I really love this effect. It's so cool. You can also do this with a curves adjustment layer, but uh, it would be a combination of curves adjustment and desaturation, etc. And uh, on, to be honest, I don't like the curves and the contrast uh, tools of, of Photoshop. So uh, I'm much more pleased with the Capture One uh, way of, of applying curves and uh, contrast. So this is an example where it works pretty well. So I will show you now an example where it's not working that well. So this is a very high contrast image and I already uh, created this layer. So you can, as you can see, the values are, are very close. I can uh, choose the same as before. So if I now switch on and off, so you are getting some contrast, but it's really, it's not working that well. So for example, the, the hair is, is still too bright and you're simply not getting this three dimensionality out of it. So if you compare it to this, a low to mid contrast image, it's really doing a beautiful job, a really beautiful job. That's it already guys, a very short video, but I really wanted to show you this uh, method because I really love it how it's working on, on fine art portraiture and, and very classy also black and white uh, portraits. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm really working hard on this channel to get it growing to, so I can concentrate even more on creating videos. And until then, see you in the next video and never forget to listen to more heavy metal.